write down the equation of the axis of symmetry. So as I was going to say, the first thing will be y is equal to x minus 5 all squared minus 4. So that is the first thing I'm going to do. Now, remember this is x minus p all squared plus q, where this p value here is the axis of symmetry. So that's what I have. So therefore, it means that max of symmetry will be x is equals to 5. I hope you guys remember as we started, I had mentioned that axis of symmetry is about an equation. So it's written as x is equals to. And then determine the x-intercepts of, remember I said, uh, Jay-Z sang a song and said, if you want the x-intercept, then you let y to be equal to a 0. So this will be 0 is equals to, uh, so I can just leave it as, 0 plus 4 for now. So this will be 0 plus 4 is equal to x minus 5 all squared. Now I know the very first thing that you guys can do here is to square root both sides. Please don't do that. First expand this thing here and then work it out after that. So 4 will be equal to x squared minus uh, 10x plus 25. And then this will be x squared minus 10x. Uh, I'm going to take the, 20, the, the 4 to the other side by adding the additive inverse. So it will be minus 4 is equal to 0. And then from here, I'll have x squared minus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0 then I need to then factorize this. To factorize this, if this is a plus, it means that my brackets will have two of the same signs. So it will be x minus x minus, then 21 to give me 10 will then be 7 and 3. And then lastly, I'll have x is equals to 3 or x is equals to a 7. Then my x-intercepts are 3 and 0 or and uh, 7 and 0. Now sketch the graph of f, clearly showing all intercepts with the axis and the turning point. Now look at what they're mentioning. They're mentioning the turning point, but they did not say anything about the turning point on the statement. But because you know that this is the value of p and that's the value of q, and this is in the turning point form, we already know our turning point. So I will say my tp is going to be a positive 5 and minus 4. And then my uh, my x-intercept here, as we calculated that side, it was 7 and 0. And also it was 3 and 0. I hope I got them right. Let's just verify there. Yes, yeah, 7 and 3. And then lastly, I will say my y-intercept, because x is supposed to be 0, it will be 0 and so I have 0 minus 5 which is 25. 25 minus 4 will then be equal to 21. So this will be 21. Then now to plot the graph, so I know, remember what I had said to you, I had said that the value of A here is a positive, right? So it means it will be a happy face. Now firstly I have 5 and negative 4 as my turning point. Uh, so it is 5 and negative 4, which will be somewhere down here. So it's 5 and minus 4 there. And then also I will then have my values as the 3 somewhere here. Let's make it somewhere there and make a 7 somewhere there. And then I'll have roughly a 21 up there, though it's not really drawn to scale. Let me remove these other points so you guys don't get confused. And then I will then draw my graph as something like this. Now please note that my graph is not really drawn to scale, but I know that this is my turning point. This is my x2, which is the x-intercept, that's my x1, and then this is my y-intercept. But you will label them accordingly, please. So that's what I have with that there. And then write down the range of f. Remember what I had explained earlier on. I had said if it is a happy face, it means this is the minimum. If it is a sad face, it means that this is then the maximum. So right now, 
what I have is the one with a minimum. So it means my Y value will be greater or equal to the Y value of the turning point in general terms. So this will be Y is greater or equal to minus 4 since that's the minimum value. Or you can write it as Y is an element of, uh, remember, square bracket minus 4 up until you get to positive infinity. So now, remember guys, what is it that I've looked at right now? We've showed you uh, two types of parabolic functions. One is when you have ax squared plus bx plus c. The second one is when you have it as a into x minus p all squared plus q. Now the difference between these two is, with the first one, you need to work out your axis of symmetry using minus b over 2a, or rather x is equal to minus b over 2a. So that's the equation. And then take the value, sub it into the original equation, it gives you the y value of the turning point. x and y intercept, you find them the same way. Jay-Z said x intercept, y must be zero. Beyonce said uh, y intercept, x must be zero. So those are the things that you need to know. But with this one now, we have the turning point form. So the value of p and the value of q is already given to you. So the turning point is already given to you. The only thing you need to know or to do is to find the intercept with the axis and then plot your graph accordingly so. Uh, so let's, let's have a look. Uh, so let's have a look at what I have here. So firstly, the things that I said you guys must do is write it in standard form. So you quickly have to write this to be in standard form before doing anything. And then label all the values, label all the values. So those, these are the two important things that you need to know when it comes to this function. So right now,